Okay guys, this is just to show you that you can do your own Mirmen and you can create whatever creature you want with GTA. It's really easy to do. It's a long process sometimes, a little bit of time consuming, but you know the reward at the end, I think it's worth it. As you can see, this avatar is just brand new. I made it from scratch. And I'm showing you in this tutorial how to do all these things. And it's not the only thing that you can do. You can do centaurs, you can do satires, you can do anything you want. Minotaurs, you know, whatever you want. And just use your imagination. And I'm just giving you these tools so that you learn how to do these things. This is just a simple iClone and CTA test. And this is to show you that we can create this kind of avatars, if you want to say so in CTA and have an animation that you really like, something that's pleasing to the eye. And it's just about combining both tools. If you have iClone and you have CTA, you have nothing to lose. It's just a trial and error until you get something that you're very satisfied with. In my case, I'm very satisfied with the outcome of the final render. And this is what you're looking at right now. I'm preparing what I call the imagine packs and I'm preparing an imagine pack with the avatars and I am also preparing the ocean uh, with the flora and the fauna, you know, the animals for you to create a tutorial in which you can create your own mythical animals using iClone and CTA, okay? Uh, basically, you can use just CTA, but I'm going to tell you why. If you are an iClone user like I am, I'm not a CTA user, I'm an iClone user. If you have iClone, you can take advantage of that tool as well to get your props and also to get any parts of the avatar that you want to change. So, in regards to the crit uh, mythical creatures, I already did a tutorial for you. You can go to my channel and that's a tutorial, this one right here. Okay, now let me show you one thing, okay? Okay, I'm gonna show you this package, which is uh, one that you can get at the Realution Marketplace, which is really awesome. And the avatars, they are really awesome, okay? This is Triton, and then you have the mermaids, okay? Uh, you have two mermaids and one mermaid. Now, the thing is that, as I showed before in the other video, in how to create mythical creatures, this one right here. You're gonna notice that one of the things I talk about is that it's a one piece avatar, which means that it has one bone structure for whatever is the human part and the tail of the mermaid, okay? And that's a, a, a disadvantage because when that happens, the only thing you can do is to animate the avatar uh, frame by frame, which means that as you drop the avatar, I'm gonna drop this avatar into CTA, okay? When you animate this avatar, you're gonna have to animate the body of the avatar doing it piece by piece. You cannot go into your motions that you have, you know, from any of the packages, CTA packages, you can't use any of those motions to animate the avatar. And that's really a disadvantage because when you have that, uh, can you imagine doing this frame by frame? And I believe you know what I'm talking about. We right click on this, we go to the motion key editor, okay? Uh, the motion key editor is showing you pretty much all the bones of the avatar. I'm gonna amplify the screen. So you can drop the, the motions, okay? Uh, you are gonna have to pretty much select each bone and then you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna have to move each bone, okay, like that. Of course, you have to, you have to move in the, in the timeline, okay? Like, we go like that and then we select the bone we wanna move and yeah, I want him to say like, hello, you know, or kind of like something like that, you know, so I, I'm going to be moving the arm like that. Okay. And the hand, you see, it, I said it's already it's taking a long time, you know, just to do that. So, okay. And sorry for that in regards to the screen. That. So we go back again and there it goes. Okay, now it's kind of like a very fast motion, you know, it's not natural and that's, can you imagine doing this frame by frame and then, yeah, and then you want to animate the tail. So you go like, okay, and I'm going to animate the tail. So I'm, I'm going to 
select that bone and I'm gonna move the tail you know like this twist it and blah 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 you know and when you start doing all these things um, I mean can you imagine doing like a movie or a video a short even a short video how long is gonna take you not just to animate frame by frame okay but also to make the smooth movements of the avatar it's gonna take you forever so by the time you finish a short video probably you're gonna be in your, in your second Christmas okay uh, that's not gonna happen okay the avatar is really really nice I mean I love the avatar okay but that's not what we want we want something fast okay in which you can actually just grab the motion and drop it into the avatar and have the upper part of the avatar moving okay so I'm gonna show you how to create the mermaid okay that's we're gonna start with the mermaid you're looking at the horses right now because we are uh, looking at the centaur, okay, that, well, actually, we're going to start with the centaur, okay, because I already have the horses right here. So, let me delete this avatar. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm going to show you in the previous uh, tutorial that I made for you um, in how to create mythical creatures, okay. I show you that pretty much the, the avatar for the, the horse it's uh, a little bit kind of fat so I wanted to I wanted that part of the avatar uh, okay it was fat it was like this one okay um, so I said that I, I was gonna change that and I did so now that you're looking at the new one uh, it's it's not as fat okay it looks much better the way I wanted it to look okay anyways what did I do okay as you can see over here, we're going to go to the right hand panel and we're going to go to the actor tab. OK, we go to the actor tab. Let me amplify the screen for you, even though the cursor is not going to be at the right position. And then at the actor part, you're going to be under character. You have different uh, probably folders. OK, these are folders, the G3, 360, G3, uh, G3 or CG. And G1, G2, G3. We're gonna go to the G3, and then we're gonna go. Um, once you hit that, you're gonna find the folder in which you have pretty much the animals. Okay. Uh, let me see. So <laughs> these are stuffed animals. No, we don't want that. We want the G3 animals. Okay. And this is a horse that I chose. You can actually choose whatever animal you want. You know. Uh, I chose this horse so I dropped the horse over there okay and I'm gonna show you what I did okay so uh, this is something that you're gonna be have to, uh, ha have to do you know uh, one of the things I want to mention is make sure that the horse that you drop here is not a talking horse this is not a talking horse because if you drop one of the other horses that come you know the packages that you make it at the revolution site you know uh, if it's a talking horse and then you want to put an avatar on, on that horse, it's just going to be impossible. It's going to, the, the entire program is going to crash, okay? That's something that they have to fix because it's like you have to talk in avatars and you cannot link one avatar uh, onto the other, okay? But you can, you can link two avatars. Like if I wanted to link this avatar, I go over here, select the avatar I want to link. And then I go over here on the upper menu and this one that looks like a clip and then link and then I link it to whatever part of the of the avatar I want to okay I'm just gonna link it over here okay just just for the sake of it make it face fast so if I move that the other avatar is gonna move okay I can also link this one uh, let's go and do that we can link three avatars and I'm gonna link it to this one so whenever this one moves okay the other ones are gonna move okay that's the way you do it okay if you want to do like a rampage you know of having many avatars you know that's the way you can do it also you can link one and another and they can all have their own movements you know it's gonna respect that but if you link a talking avatar with another talking avatar it's gonna crash okay the program is gonna crash so don't do that I'm gonna unlink this so we're gonna just go back okay and they should be unlinked there you go all right so we're going to start with this avatar over here it's not a non-talking avatar okay remember that that's important you can drop an audio you can 
go over here because it's an avatar so you can go over here on the left hand panel and you want to add some voice to that you can add it but it's not going to talk because it doesn't have a talking head okay that's a, that's one of the things so we're going to start by changing this avatar and you select the avatar and then you're going to go over here on this menu um, right here to the let's see the first icon it's the composer so any changes are going to happen here and also they're going to happen at the psd editor so you select the part that you want to hide in this case i'm going to select the head and there's uh, many ways you can do that okay you can delete that you can go over here to the second icon that does the psd editor okay second icon from bottom to top okay you can shoot that we're going to shoot it right now you go to the multi-angle multi always and then you're going to launch it and once you have it over here okay you can just go to the last layer the bottom one you're going to open that up and then you're going to look for the head and you can select the head you can delete it over there i would not recommend you to do that okay that would be not a good thing to do okay because there's an easier way to do it i'm going to say no there's an easier way to do it so we're going to select the head and once we are here we're going to go to this menu and we're going to go over here to this icon okay the mask editor okay so we're going to mask it that's what we're going to do that, that's the easiest way um to do this okay you just roll the the mouse wheel down to make it smaller and make sure that it's in the first one it's, by default it's always in the first one you want to make sure the opacity is at 100 okay and then you are just gonna go like that okay and then you exit and the head is gone okay you're gonna do the same thing for whatever parts you want to delete in this case i do not want to delete the entire neck okay i just want to delete part of the neck so we're gonna do the same process over here all right and we're, what i'm gonna be doing um is I'm, I'm just gonna be deleting this part over here something like that okay because this is where we're going to be placing the body of the avatar, okay? Something like that. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And a little bit more, okay? You have to go back and forth until you get something that you are satisfied with. So we're going to delete that, okay? Uh, let me see. So we're going to delete probably all this from here to here make sure the other parts are very well hidden okay all right i just want to show you the process that i did okay to make it to make it easier for you something like that okay i'm not going to be perfect right now because i want to do this tutorial real fast so we're going to go back to to our project so you're going to press the first icon not on this menu okay uh, we're going to talk about this menu bar over here so it's going to be the first icon you're going to press that okay so we have pretty much that avatar over there and that's the first part okay first part is getting the bottom part now the second part is that you want your own horses okay you don't want to copy the same word if you want to use the same horse just go ahead and if you want to change the color just grab that horse go again to the composer mode okay over here let's go to the composer mode we're gonna go on the second item uh, icon from a uh, bottom to top okay we're gonna press on that we're gonna go to uh, select the multi okay always the multi the second one and then you're gonna launch it it's gonna send that to Adobe Photoshop or whatever photo editor you have and then we're gonna select each part of the body if you wanna do it do it with this avatar okay let's say I wanna change the this portion of the body right here because it's a little bit kind of overweight okay it looks like a little kind of fat you know which looks kind of okay and then kind of funny per se so we're gonna go to the hip I'm sorry you know it's gonna be doing this because uh, I have the magnifier tool 
So we're going to go to the hip um, right here. And we're going to select the layer. And first, uh, I'm going to change, I'm going to transform the, because I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS6, CS6. And I'm going to use the, the warp tool. And I'm going to put that over here like that. There you go. Yeah, it looks nice. Now, if you want to change the color, just use whatever color you want. You know, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go use this right here. Maybe that kind of a fleshy color. Um, something like that, maybe. Something. Uh, and, you know, you can, you can do that, you know. Just make it, because we want to do something fast, okay. Uh, we're going to select uh, first, before we do that, we're going to select the entire part of the body. There you go. All right. We're going to delete that. I'm just going to do something quick, okay? It's not going to look nice, okay? I just want to let you know that right now, guys, okay? But there you go, all right? So you can do the same thing for each other part of the of the avatar. If you want to do that process, which is faster, okay? It's, this is going to be faster than the other one. Now, remember, if you lose the the black contour, you're not going to have a definition for the outer. So this one should have some black, you know, as the outline, okay, of the body so that you can actually distinguish one from the other, okay? Anyways, that's one way of doing this really fast, okay? I'm going to show you the, the other way, which is not fast, but it's also fun uh, for those people who like to design, okay, and spend that much time. I don't really like to design unless it's... it's something I'm creating like this, you know, this is an innovation for me. So anyways, the other part, the other way you can do it, and I'm going to show you right here, is by going to the internet, Google the, the horses, okay, find some tuned horses, choose the kind of horse that you want to use uh, for the avatar. I use this one right here, okay. I use the body of this horse. And yeah, this is going to be a long process because then you have to be cutting each part of the horse. Okay, so you're going to go to your editor, drop the horse. Okay. And you're going to be selecting each part of the horse. Okay, in this case, I'm going to be selecting the body of the horse. That's the first thing we want. Okay. Uh, this is over here. Okay. We're gonna select the body of the horse. It doesn't have to be perfect, so we're gonna go Control C. We're gonna make a new document. Control B, and then we're just gonna be cutting each part of the horse that we don't want to, okay, to have, like this part over here. We're gonna be deleting that. Okay, we're gonna be deleting the legs. I'm, I'm doing this real quick, guys, okay? I, I, I don't want to be perfect right now because I don't want this tutorial to be, you know, kind of long. And, uh, of course, we have the, the white uh, background. We're going to delete that. That's, that's the first layer, okay, right here. So we're going to delete that so it's a transparent background. As you can see, there's an, a little part right here. We're, we're going to make sure we don't miss those those parts, okay? Because then they're going to be showing uh, in the other picture. Uh, in the final picture, we don't want that to happen. Okay. There you go. All right. So something like this. Okay. You get the concept. So, um, of course, we need to resize this. All right. Because we don't want this to be too big. So uh, I'm just going to the canvas size. Um, the height is an 8. So let's try something like a five, maybe. There you go. A five is much better. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So you're gonna save this, okay? In this case, I'm not gonna do the process of saving it, but you save the parts of the body of, of, of the horse. You're gonna be saving each part. So I'm gonna go to that part, okay? I'm not gonna show you the entire process. I, I already show you how we're gonna be doing this. All right, so you get the concept. So as you can see, I have all the parts of the horse, okay? 
Now, for each part, you're going to be dropping each of the parts. And they have the uh, transparent background. Remember, you have to save it as a PNG. And then you go to your original. So we select the avatar. We're going to send it to the PSD editor. Remember, multi-angle, always the multi-angle, launch it. And you have all the parts saved. So we're going to select the third or the, the first uh, layer, which is at the bottom. We're going to go to the hip. OK, we're going to select the hip. And then from the images that I have, you know, we're going to select the image of the hip. This is one of the hips. And we're going to select that and we're going to drop it over here. As you can see, and I'm going to amplify the screen, sorry, I'm going to have to be doing this back and forth so that you can see in more detail. Okay. So we have this and we're going to resize it to match the, of course, we're not looking at the entire, you know, uh, body because we have the legs and I need to hide the legs. I forgot to do it so that you can see, but we're going to resize these guys. Okay and kind of like match it to the other picture just to make things easier for us okay you want to distort it we're going to go to the edit transform and then we're going to use the warp and i think it's the easiest tool in my case because i'm using adobe photoshop just to distort it a little bit okay there you go something like this okay i'm, I'm just going to leave it as it is I'm going to delete the other one, but remember before deleting that, make sure that you copy that it's the same name of that layer before deleting it. Okay, so we can delete the layer. Oh, but before, uh, I don't like when that little square appears, so I'm just going to make a copy of that real quick. So there you go. Now I can delete the layer and then this one make sure to copy the name before deleting the layer and then we're going to copy the same name or paste the same name okay because i made a copy of the name so and then we're going to just make sure it kind of like matches the body okay so we're going to be looking at the changes that it is doing all right so we already made a change over there so we're going to save it okay um it is saving the changes you see the body is already changed okay so we have the neck is separate okay the neck is not the same so you have to do the neck you have to do the legs you have to do the tail you have to do each part of it okay once once it's done you're going to go back to your project and you're going to see the new changes being done to your avatar until you get something like this okay I already showed you so that's one of the first steps okay so i'm gonna exit this screen and i'm gonna come back we're gonna be working now on the avatar on the upper part of the avatar which is another avatar okay so i'll be right back okay for this second part you're gonna choose the upper part of the avatar you know for from all the packages that i have uh, first of all i want to work on a g3 avatar that's one of the things you can work on a g G2 avatar, it's also like a multi-angle avatar because it moves around um, back, you know, uh, to the side, to the front, you know. But this one, because I have the package and because it has different angles, you know, it has it has a side, it has the front, and it has kind of like a diagonal, okay, which is this one right here. These are like diagonals, okay. So I, I chose the side, okay, but I could use the diagonal one. In this case, in my case, I use Jared, which is this one right here, okay? But you can use whatever avatar you want, you know? Uh, just use that as a, as a male, okay? But, and, and you're gonna do the same process for a female. So let me show you what I have over here in CTA. I have Jared, which is this avatar over here, all right? And then I had to change pretty much the body of Jared. So we're going to do the same process. We're going to send it to um, the composer. Okay, select your avatar. Send your avatar to the composer. Now, 
this is where in my advantage okay because I have a uh, iClone so I'm gonna shoot iClone and I'm gonna put one of my avatars you know one that I've been sharing I've been sharing these avatars you know uh, I had to put the underwear to make it easier you know because that way it's not gonna cover you know like if it has a uh, like boxers it's not gonna cover more most of the body because I need to have flesh like okay um, so we're gonna select the avatar this is a tune shader okay effect so that it looks more like a tune we select the avatar we go over here to the material section we're gonna be selecting each part of the avatar that's the body okay so we're gonna amplify the screen we're gonna select the head the body the arm and the legs okay and I'm gonna do this real quick make sure to select the skin and map which is in the base color and it is digital human skin we're gonna change it to a traditional that's the first step you see it changed already the color of the avatar it, is, it has a lot of glossiness so the glossiness and the specular when I, we're gonna lower that so we get rid of the of the of the glow and then the self illumination we're gonna put it all the way up okay make sure the avatar doesn't have any hair unless you want a hairy um, avatar you know in the other one these ones they have to be white so we're gonna put that white to make it uh, kind of tunish okay and we're gonna put a glow also this one has a glow already you see and it's uh, like kind of like the same color of skin we're gonna leave the glow okay it's fine it's no problem so once you have that done all right we're gonna get it a little bit closer to get the torso and we're gonna render this area over here so we're gonna go to the render at the top this icon right here and make sure it's a PNG I'm gonna amplify the screen so that we can see this a little bit closer it's a PNG make sure that over here in this um, the preferences okay this uh, icon over here make sure that it's transparent because if you have this selected okay it's it's gonna be showing that color you don't want that to happen okay you want it to be transparent so make sure it's a PNG and that's in gray and we're gonna be current frame where this is these are the dimensions which is the width this is the width we're gonna change the width because it's too a little bit too big so we're gonna make it 900 maybe okay just to make it a little bit closer and then we're gonna amplify or get closer to this all right there you go so you that the width you see it's a little bit shorter over here and that's what we want to render okay we go back to the render and make sure that you have it three by three just to get the highest quality and export it all right I have some renders over here in regards to uh, caves that I've been rendering for you uh, I have a cave uh, uh, CTA pack that I'm making for you uh, I'm just gonna put it over here okay so we're gonna put torso there you go all right now we're gonna look for that folder in which you um, save the torso you can actually drop the torso over here all right well you can't I'm sorry uh, <laughs> uh, you can do it you know uh, you can drop the torso of, of course you have to make sure to get rid of the arms you know and things like that and this bottom part you have to fix it too but I'm, I'm just going to show you this is one way to do it I'm not going to do it you know uh, having the torso by itself uh, because I want to show you the process okay but let's say that you already edited the torso okay and you can drop it over here make it match you know with the other one of course you're going to delete the other one okay you're going to be changing that this is a hassle okay don't do that I already tell you because it may work okay but you're going to have some problems with the avatar and you don't want to have that okay we're going to go back over here let's see if we go back you see the torso is already changed this is a process that you can do this is one way to do it this is a way that I would not recommend okay I am not going to recommend this way okay what you're going to be doing is you're going to go to 
um, the PSD editor. So it's the second icon from bottom to top. And we're gonna go select the multi-angle, always, and launch it. So we have our avatar over here. I'm, I'm gonna amplify the screen. Okay, we're gonna go to the, the bottom layer, which is the one in which you're gonna be doing all these changes, okay, of the avatar. Because I already have the torso done, I'm not gonna be using this torso, but you, you know, that this torso, uh, the one that you, if you don't have a torso, you're gonna have to shop for it and look for it in Google. And you're gonna have to look for avatars uh, that are pretty much like partially naked or at least that they don't have any shirt um, and, and get the body, okay, the upper body. That's another way of doing it, okay. I'm gonna delete that because I don't need that, okay. I'm, I'm gonna show you the torso that I have for this avatar. I'll be right back. So you pretty much get your torso, okay? And once you have your torso, you're just gonna copy. We're gonna copy the entire torso. And we're gonna paste it on the original avatar, which is this one right here. Oh, but make sure that before you do that, you're on the right layer, which is the hip, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna select the hip. The screen is going to be moving okay guys so I, I apologize for that but uh, I'm doing this tutorial okay so the hip there you go we're gonna uh, we're gonna hide the rest so that you don't get confused okay we're gonna uh, hide everything else but the hip okay so that you can see the changes that I'm doing so we're gonna make sure we match the, the neck there you go, there's my torso. We're gonna match it to the, the image below. Uh, let's get closer to there, a little bit more. So we're gonna match the arms, okay? And we're gonna match the neck. So as you can see, I've been working on the torso and I've been using the other image that was uh, with the avatar, the original one. And I'm gonna show you, it's right below this one. So I'm gonna hide this image. And this is the original image. I just uh, painted it, you know, the same color as the one that I have on top, which is the torso that I uh, put over here. And then I'm just gonna make sure to get the name of the original layer, which is hip underscore F. Okay, just not to make it difficult. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, merge those two layers, okay? And I'm gonna make sure, yeah, this is already renamed. And we're gonna see how this looks like in the original uh, avatar. So we're gonna save it. saving it we're gonna go to CTA come on there you go and as you can see the torso is already there it's not gonna match the skin color of course but we're gonna make it match you know not right now okay as you can see uh, we have the arms of the avatar which are not that hard to change because now what I can do is just change the color of the uh, the torso. Okay, we're gonna change the color of the torso, but I'm gonna show you, uh, th these are the steps that you need to follow, okay? Uh, this is the best way to do it. Don't do it by dropping the image on top, like I told you before, that's gonna be a lot of problems for you, believe me. This is the best way to do it, okay? Um, now for the arms, that's easy because then we can go again to the the editor. We're gonna select the avatar. We'll go back to the editor. A multi-angle, launch it. It's gonna ask us if we want to update. Yes, let's put update. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, color pick the, the arm, okay? And then we're gonna just uh, draw it over here okay we're gonna paint it i'll be right back okay so i already painted the arms which is the left and the right arm and we're gonna save it 
I know that everything is hidden right now. It doesn't really matter because it's going to save it anyways. It's going to show the layer. So we're going to save it. And we're going to go back to CTA. We're going to see our changes. And we can see the changes already made, uh, been made to the, to the arms. Now, I know that the torso is not matching the color of the body, but we're going to make it match right now. So we're going to select the torso. And over here in the left menu, we have, uh, let me see. We have the render style, okay? So we're going to open up the render style and we're going to be working with any of these three render styles that we have. I'm going to be working on the first one. So I'm going to apply a little bit more of the light color. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot it's going to change everything. Okay, never mind. Um, let's undo that, okay? Because I, I forgot it's gonna it's gonna be changing the entire avatar. I, I don't want that to happen, so we're gonna leave it as it is. Okay, we're gonna open Adobe Photoshop again, and that's how we're gonna do that. But before doing that, I'm gonna hide the legs, and this we do over here. So we're gonna be hiding all those layers just to leave the upper part of the of the avatar. Remember over here in the mask tool okay make it small and make sure everything the hardness make it at a hundred and just hide everything at the bottom okay if you can't if you can choose things correctly okay there's a shoe okay now that's two there you go then you can go to the menu on the right hand panel and find it there if you can click you know <laughs> just want to make sure that it's already covered it's already hidden because you're still going to have those parts in case that you want the avatar back okay and you're going to do that process i'm not going to do it right now for you i'm, I'm just going to pause it and i'll be right back okay so i hit the the lower part okay the legs the, the legs are still there okay if you want to show them you go again you choose whatever part you want to to unmask you go to the mask tool and then you're going to choose the second icon right here okay and then you do that and it's going to show you again the leg okay in this case i'm not going to do it because we want to follow the process and we're going to send the avatar back again to whatever editor you have. In my case, it's Adobe Photoshop. Because we're going to change the up, the upper torso to match the, the skin color, okay? It's, it's not that hard, really. Okay, we're going to update it. Okay, there we go. You know, we have all the parts hidden. You know, they're not deleted. They are still there, but they are hidden. Okay, I'm, I'm going to match the, the skin color and I'll be right back, okay? I don't want to do this process. You should be able to do it in whatever uh, editor you are using. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna match the color. I'll be right back. Okay, this is a final product, and I think it's okay. So I'm gonna send it to Adobe Photoshop. I mean to uh, CTA right now. So we're gonna save it, and let's go to CTA saving it that's why it's not opening it up okay there you go now it's looking much better so i hit everything else oh wait i still have the shoes right here <laughs> okay that's uh for some reason it just changed a pair of shoes so I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna hide that i don't know why it did that shouldn't have you know, when that happens, because I did hide the other ones, so when that happens, just go ahead and hide whatever, you know, is showing, because it's going to show in the final, in the final avatar, okay? So, that that happens sometimes, even the hands, you know, when, if you like, if you're hiding the hands, sometimes it goes to the next layer, and, and it's going to show the next uh, pair of hands, okay? So, just go ahead and hide them again, okay? 
remember this is a multi um, character meaning that it has many angles for the, the for the feet for the hands and uh, you want to make sure that doesn't happen okay okay so everything is hidden right now and we can go now to the final one which is this one over here and uh, well, we're, we're gonna do the last part which is the tail okay. for the mermaid tail I went to the internet I was looking for images you know I found this from the little mermaid and this is Prince Eric as a mermaid okay <laughs> and you know just trying to cut this tail it's not only the work that you have to do to cut the tail but it's also that it's not the definition you know the, the quality is not a high quality so it's not gonna look good it's gonna look blurry so I went ahead and I was fishing for some um, mermaid tails I'm gonna be uh, giving you the entire collection that I have over here okay because I already uh, found them for you and we can go ahead and get one of the tails let me see we're gonna get a different kind of tail um, maybe this one and I'm gonna send this to Adobe Photoshop so let's go over here and we're gonna work on just getting the tail the tail by itself and we're gonna work on that I'll be right back okay okay I worked on the tail and as you can see it's already done and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna save it as a PNG transparent PNG okay and I'm gonna drop it into CTA and then we're gonna drop it as an avatar we have to create an avatar out of the tail okay the tail cannot be a prop okay if you make it as a prop you're not gonna be able to animate it I mean there's a way to animate it but it's not gonna look nice okay so the best way is just to drop it into CTA as an avatar and that's what you're going to do, create an avatar and then you can put a bone structure and I'll be right back, okay, once I do that. I'm going to save it as a PNG and I'm going to drop it and I'm going to show you how, you how you're going to be doing that. Okay, so we have our PNG image. You're going to drag and drop into CTA and you're going to choose the last one which is a G3 bone actor, okay. So we press on that and it's going to open up this menu and here is where you're going to be starting uh, putting the bones okay so let me amplify the screen and we're going to put at a bone we're going to start at the top and just try to imagine how you want the tail to be moving okay i'm going to put it right here and right here and then right over here and now uh, pre press the escape key okay now the thing is that we have a tail okay the best way to do this and this is the best way to be able to animate this is by from this point over here we're gonna be adding bones and we're gonna make it like a triangle okay so add a bone from this uh, vertice from here to here okay and escape key we're gonna add a bone again from here this vertice straight down And we are done, we're gonna exit this, and then we're gonna go back to our CTA. And then we have our, our avatar. This is going to be an avatar, okay? This is a G3 avatar. So we're gonna select that. And it's selected. No, <laughs> the water effect is selected. We're gonna mermaid tail too, there you go. We're gonna make it bigger. Okay. It's a little bit too big. 
and this one has to be in the front of the avatar so we're gonna put it right there in the front something like that all right and we're gonna attach this tail to the avatar let's see so we're gonna link it we we'll go to the link we're gonna link it to this bone over here okay the the ones for the leg which is the triangle one come on we select our avatar and you see the tail is going to move with the avatar now you have a movable merman okay we can now resize the the tail make it to our liking okay we're going to resize it like that something like this there you go ah it looks kind of pretty <laughs> i mean i like the tail it looks really nice okay um now when we want to animate the tail then we go select the tail we right click on our on our mouse and we're gonna go to the motion key layer editor okay motion key editor and then we need to open up our timeline right here at the bottom this little uh rectangle that looks like a, like a paper kind of and we're going to select just the tail because it's opening many things so we're going to select the second icon from left to right uh that's uh what's the name of that it's uh, the object related track okay we're going to open the the object we're going to click on that i'm sorry not open and then we're going to go to the motion the motion tab and as we can see we have how many frames okay so we're going to start uh, animating the tail so we're going to move a little bit forward it doesn't have to be perfect you know not right now because you actually can move the points and we're going to select that and let's see you select whatever parts you want to animate okay so there you go you see the other ones they're not moving because they're not connected to that but i could connect it if i wanted to okay um this is a trial and error which means that if you are not satisfied with what you're looking at uh, like if you're going to be animating the tail and you say you know what uh, i don't like the way it moves then you can go back to the bone editor okay and you can uh, redo these things you can delete the bones and and redo it so that it's to a point in which you you are satisfied okay with what you have you see it's deforming because these these are not attached to the main bone and that's the reason why i told you because, you know I'm, I'm not a cta user so i'm gonna add a pin right here uh no you know what no it's not gonna work no now I remember it's not gonna work. Um, we're gonna add a bone, and we're gonna add a bone from here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna add a bone from here to here, and escape, and we're gonna add another bone from here to here, and make sure it's connected. Just so it turned into a green one, so it is connected. We're gonna add a bone. We probably don't want the torso to move too much, so we're gonna do it like this. And there you go. This uh, little belt, <laughs> okay, fish belt. You can do so, you know, just do your own fish belt and then add it over here if you want to, so that it, it looks a little bit better. Like over here, okay, but I didn't hide that, okay. Anyways. Uh, this is pretty much the concept guys and that's how you create your own mermaids um, this is a merman you do the same process with the females okay let me see if I didn't close no I didn't close it so you would get one of the females um, you, of course you're gonna have to dress her okay for the breast and um, you create your own um, merma mermaids okay
we're going to animate the tail and we're going to add motions to the action menu. If we right click on the mouse and we go over here in the first one which is the action menu you can see that I already added some motions okay but actually the action menu should be empty okay now how we're gonna do this first we're gonna open up the motion key editor which is the third one motion key editor we're gonna make these to the side you see that it has all the bones that make up this tail which I already show you how to create the bones of, uh, of uh, an avatar you know that is a prop this is a prop and we made it an avatar okay when we dropped it into this scene um, we're gonna open up also the timeline because we want to see uh, how we're gonna be doing this so we right click on the mouse and no, we can right click on the mouse because we already open up this menu unless we do it the other way we can right click on the mouse we go to the timeline we open that up first and then we can open up the other one the motion key editor the timeline you can also open it up over here at the bottom uh, this little square that looks like a like a sheet of paper you know with lines uh, or square with lines and um, uh, to make sure like if you have many elements if you had a scene and you had so many props and avatars and things like that what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this one the second icon from left to right this one right here you select that icon and it's gonna pretty much just select whatever you are uh, you have selected in your scene in this case is the tail so uh, we're gonna go to the motion over here okay and if you need to see this a little bit bigger you know like the numbers 5 10 15 and things like that you just scroll down on your mouse uh, holding the alt uh, key in your keyboard the alt key alt and then the mouse wheel you're gonna do it down or up you know to make it bigger or smaller and I'm gonna amplify the screen now and we're gonna move five frames okay and then we're gonna select one of the bones in this case I'm gonna select the one in the middle as you can see, when you put the cursor on top, it tells you what kind of bone it is. It's bone number two. So in, in, in a case in which you have so, so many elements in the scene and it's really hard for you to click on a particular bone, then you can just go to the bone menu, just look, put the cursor on top and until it gives you the, the name of the bone. To, or and then you select the bone over here in this menu. Okay, bone number two. And we're going to move the bone to the left side a little bit okay and then we go to the next one which is uh, number three okay bone number three we can select it over here on this screen too and we're gonna move it also to the left and then we are at no bone number four we can either click here if you can if you can't then just go over here and select it from the menu and move it uh, we can also move the fence, you know, because I put some bones over here and over here also. So we're going to select this bone number nine. This is the best way to animate it, you know, without having a scene. Because if you have a scene, you have so many elements and then you have to go back and forth maybe on this menu and uh, trying to find out, you know, the name over here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit more time consuming per se. So just to make it easier, just have the, the avatar, because it's an avatar, remember, because it has bones. Ha have the avatar on one, you know, on one scene by itself, like it is right here. And then just do all the modifications, okay? So we're going to put that maybe like that. We can move the ones at the bottom. I'm going to do this a little bit faster, okay? so that you don't have to we're not going to spend so much time on animating this uh we're going to move that over here uh, that we're going to move it over here if we wanted to have a, a smoother you know movement then we would need to add another bone over here so that uh the entire thing doesn't twist because you know this is a head it's a head and it's connecting three different parts and uh, the movement is going to be a little bit more grotesque but if you want something smoother, then just add more bones, okay? Um, so we're going to leave it as it is right now, okay? So we're going to move forward in our timeline, another five frames, okay? And then we're going to do the reset 
uh, we're gonna go over here to this menu and we're gonna do the reset okay so it reset it back to its original position all right so we're just gonna copy these two uh, frames over here uh, the first one is a neutral okay then the second one is twisting and then it goes back to its same, posi its same position okay however since this point is a reset you know which is by default this point over here so we are just gonna delete this okay because we're gonna go back to the same position and if we want to repeat this over and over again you know we just need one point which is with this that's all we need so we're gonna open up the collect click so click on the on the tab that says collect click and it's gonna open up this tab for you and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click uh, left click on the mouse and uh, drag it all the way to the beginning okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up uh, we're gonna add this to the perform we're gonna export it as a perform because we want to have this separate you know as a separate motion so we're gonna go um, over here I already have some for the golden and it's a gold tail okay just remember if you have different tails just to give you a name that you can actually distinguish you know for the movements because these are having different bones like if you add a, a different tail and it has different bones it's a different avatar so it's not going to be compatible with the motions okay so you have to make sure that you have the right one okay so i'm, I'm going to choose this one but I, instead of being a number three because we don't we don't want to overwrite it uh we we're going to put it at number four okay and we're going to add that so that's added to my perform okay so I'm going to delete that. So I select everything and I'm going to delete it. Okay. <laughs> it didn't do it right there. Okay. There it is. And I'm going to open up, up the menu. Okay. And I'm going to look for that motion that I just added, which is like motion number four is this one right here. And I'm going to drop it. Let me close this uh, menu. Uh, if you have a hard time, you know, sometimes like dragging and dropping over the tail because sometimes that may happen, you know, like you just uh, get the motion and drop it over the tail. In this case, it's going to be able to do it because it's in blue, okay, and it says copy. So if I do it, it dropped it, okay, So which is, is great, okay. But in case, let me go back, in case you can do that because sometimes you have many elements, okay, in the scene and you can do that, okay. What you're gonna do is uh, let me see we're gonna go back to frame number one okay we're on frame number one we're gonna uh, open up the menu uh the, the timeline i'm sorry we're gonna open up the timeline we're gonna make sure the tail is selected which is it is selected and we're gonna drag and drop that in the timeline over here in this menu okay and you see it's blue over here is not uh, it's showing you the circle with a no that you can't but over here you can so we drop it over here in case that you can do it directly you know on the scene because that may happen to you okay so once that's done we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing you could do it, you could have done this in the in the the first time we did it okay i just wanted to show you other options in case that you forgot or something and you want to make it easier for yourself so we are going to drag okay make sure that you are close to right there okay and we're gonna uh, right click on the on the mouse and it's gonna open up the menu and this time we're gonna add it okay or we can say transfer to action menu okay if you don't have any any motions but we're just gonna say add it to the action menu which is the action menu of the tail so we're gonna add it to the action menu of the tail we're gonna put the same name let me go back here and we're gonna copy that name okay because we want to distinguish the motions you already have the perform in case you for whatever reason it didn't transfer or something you already have the motion you know saved in your folder and we're gonna say okay so it's motion number four we didn't have that motion before so now we're gonna open up the menu of the tail itself and the action menu and it has right here the motion motion number four okay so in this case we're gonna delete this I don't have to but I just want to delete it because I want to show you that it's gonna work okay we're gonna open up the action menu and we're gonna select the number four movement which is something really really small okay and then we're gonna we're gonna uh, repeat that motion 
so let's uh, uh, we are in the in in the key right here which is for the repeat okay so we're gonna drag it all the way to the end or just a couple more uh, we're gonna copy just a little bit more of that if you want to make it slower just select this one right here and then you drag it a little bit forward and if you, you want to copy then just select the, the first one the first icon and then you just drag it and you can copy it all the way till the end of the time whatever you want and then we're going to play this to see if the motion is something that i actually like let's see yep it is you know uh to my liking it's okay all right you want to make it a little bit slower you know how to do this we're going to undo whatever we did before we're just gonna remain with the first one and then we're gonna select this uh, this icon the second one we're gonna drag it a little bit more to the right okay something like that and then we're gonna repeat it the first icon and the, which is a repeat icon and just a couple times just to see how that motion is gonna look like we're gonna go to the beginning and play it yeah you see if you want to make it a little bit faster something you know you're you're going to have to adjust the speed of the tail okay now you have uh, 14 frame motions i just show you how to add a motion to the action menu and once you have those motions added what you're going to do is you're going to go to your right, right hand panel make sure that you uh, click on the the actor tab which is the second one from top to bottom the actor tab and then you're just going to add it okay in this case i already have it right here you see i put up a cyan background okay and it's this one right here so that you can distinguish because i'm going to be sharing these these um, all these uh, actors okay i'm going to be sharing them with you so that you can create your mermaids and I don't have many tails, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be sharing you a lot of tails that you can actually just cut, you know, with your um, photo editor and just cut the tail and make a transparent background, add bones to the tail, and then you create your own movements for each tail that you added bones to. Okay, because they have to be compatible to be using the same kind of motions. If they are, they don't have the same kind of bone structure, then the motions are, are not going to work. Okay, it's not going to be able to identify, you know, the the same bone structure so once you have that you know you you know that this one with the cyan color it's already one that has the, the added action menu okay the other ones they may have it they may not let me drag and drop this one let's see this one also has one at least i added one you see and remember like if it's too slow for you in this case for the for the cyan one because it looks like more like a cyan color also uh, just go to the timeline okay make sure if it's selected because we have the second icon we go to the motion tab and it's going to show us the motion and if you want to make it a, a little bit uh, faster just select the motion until this turns into red and then you select the speed one and you go closer to the beginning instead of dragging it to the to the right you're going to drag it to the left and it's going to make it a little bit faster okay the movement so we go back and it's a little bit faster if you are still not satisfied with that kind of movement then just go uh, go more to the left and let's uh, try that again okay now it's a little bit faster and then we can just uh, repeat it the first icon remember and which is a repeat icon and then we copy that and but you know like this one it, it has its own bone structure it's not compatible with the other one okay each one is different if we look at the motion key editor right here we right click on the menu on the right on the on the mouse we open up the motion key editor and it's going to show me the structure of the bone okay it's a very different structure than this one over here it also have, has for the fins and for the for the tail the, the fin at the at the bottom of the tail okay so that you can actually move this once uh, you can add those movements and then collect clip and save it you know as a perform just to have the motion there for for yourself and you can add it also to the to the 
to the action menu okay so if you share like I'm gonna be sharing you these actors because these, these are actors they're not props I'm gonna be sharing these actors they already have an action menu on them okay for this one I did not make it look you know like uh, I should have put it on a side end because it already has so that's what I'm gonna do uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna select this I'm gonna amplify this a little bit more there you go and it was this one right here so I'm just gonna capture the thumbnail so you know that this one also has an action okay menu in it and with this I finished this tutorial in regards to I already show you everything how to create a mermaid I already show you how to create a centaur also and I'm gonna be sharing you other mythical creatures that I just came up with you know and how to create them and I'm gonna show you how to create those mythical creatures as well okay guys I just want to show you something real quick I'm gonna be sharing projects and this is a, a project it's a the mermaid tail it already has bones and I'm going to be sharing you with images that I already look in the internet those images you can just cut you know the background and then make it a PNG a transparent PNG and then just drop the image over here to match the bone structure okay that's all you have to do you don't have to do anything else uh, it doesn't have animation this one right here okay uh, but if you want to make it compatible you just drop any of the other images so this is pretty much like a library of images that I found in the internet so just grab whatever image you want uh, send it to your editor and just pretty much dro drop the image on top of the other one okay and the way you're gonna do that real quick you are going to be here select the 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 avatar or this is an avatar okay it's not a prop so select it you go to the left menu uh to the composer it's the first icon on the top and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna be dropping the image pretty much to match the other one okay or the easiest way i think is the best way to do it just select that and you go over here from uh, bottom to top the second icon which is the psd editor and that's for whatever uh photo editor that you have I have Adobe Photoshop so you just launch it okay and it's gonna open that up and let's say but just for for quickness okay let's say that I already have a PNG let's say this is a PNG okay or you know what we can use this image over here so we're gonna use that image we're gonna drop it uh, but before dropping it I'm sorry I made a mistake okay <laughs> that's not the way I should have done it let's see we are gonna select the bottom layer okay that's a layer we're gonna be working on and we're gonna select the tail okay so uh, we go back over here select the tail I was selecting this one this one is already a PNG and you're gonna drop it over there and you're gonna match it okay you're just gonna make sure it matches the same um, dimensions of the other image uh, something like that it doesn't have to be perfect in this case you know but something like this, something like this maybe okay I'm gonna leave it as it is right now and I'm gonna delete the other one but before deleting we're gonna copy the name of the original tail which is this one we're gonna copy that we're gonna delete the layer and then uh, we're gonna paste it over here okay so we are going to save that and we're going to go back to our CTA it's right there and we go back to see the bone is already uh, there these ones are going to be pretty much empty so it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have any fins so they're not they're not going to show okay so but you can animate this tail i'm going to show you something okay because i already have uh the perform of this tail and let me see uh, if i select it and i see the action menu is empty okay I don't have to okay if I already have an action menu and I did this it's gonna have the action menu it should have it okay I haven't done it but that's that's my hypothesis okay 
Okay, since this one already has the same bone structure as the golden tail that I had before, because I only changed the image, I did not change the structure, but remember that we had the empty the, the empty bones that don't have an image. So this one is compatible with, uh, with the golden one. So I'm gonna open up the perform for this, and I'm gonna choose whatever motions for the golden one. This is like the golden one, and I'm gonna that's why I ask you to to uh, save the perform, okay? And I'm gonna drag and drop. And as you can see, it's moving because it is compatible with the other one. So you don't have to do the entire process of reanimating your tail again. You can do many motions if you are satisfied with one one bone structure. The only thing you have to do is go to the images, make it a PNG, okay, a transparent PNG, and drop them. You know, and you will have many different kind of tails. You don't have to do the entire process. You just have to do the image. Since I already created the upper part for the, the merman, so you have this and the only thing you have to do is just change the face. And if you want to change the color, you just go over here and you go to the render, you know, the render style. Well, you select it. You select the avatar, you go to the composer, which is the first icon on the left menu. You open the composer and then you go to the render style, which is this one right here. And then you can change the color of the avatar. You can make it a little bit, you know, tanner, maybe. Okay. So you change the color, you go back, you know, and, and you select... Um, okay, uh, it's not going to look good because we select the avatar okay if we go to the right hand panel and the right hand panel and you go to the to the content manager you're going to look for the 360 uh, heads okay uh over here under actor i, I mean yeah let's see we're going to amplify the screen just to see better the menus so we're going to go under actor under head and then under head, you can select each, any head that you want. Like I can select the female head. Okay, and it's changed already. All right. So, and you can create a new actor. Okay, I, I did the process the other way. I should have not done it that way because what I mean is that I should have changed the, the face first, you know, and then take that into the into the composer mode and, and in the render settings. But if you still need to change anything in the actor, okay, we're going to put it back to what it was before. Uh, lighter, uh, it should be at zero. Okay. If, if, let's say that you change the face, okay? And if you... Okay, it's at zero. Okay, there you go. If you change the face, okay, and the face doesn't match the color of the body. Let's go back to the composer and select the actor once again to the content manager and let's say we're gonna ch we're gonna select the same face okay we're gonna select that face and it doesn't match of course then we're gonna go to the composer again we're gonna open up the psd editor which is the second icon from bottom to top we're gonna launch it make sure you select the multi-angle and we're going to go to the composer mode and we are going to change over here you know in your uh, photo editor you're going to change the face uh, to match the color of uh, the, the body okay that's what you need to do that's all you have to do you don't have to do anything else and once that you change the face uh the color of the face then you just go back you save it of course once you save it you go back to your composer and you go back to the screen and that should do it okay i just want to show you this because it's a project and you the only thing you have to change in the project if you have already the the body of the female and you have the body of the male the only thing you have to change is pretty much the face that's anything all you have to do now i'm going to show you something because i do have the content for this you know to create different kind of faces and these are g3 characters so uh, the only thing I have to do is just grab all these things, put them in my menu, and then um, add those. Well, it's not all of them, you know, but uh, add those faces that I have already, you see, like these faces uh, with different kinds of hair. And I can give it a different kind of 
of look or style you know be like if i want to change the hair and things like that i just go here and, and, and do so you know i can also change the eyebrows and things like that you know if i wanted to in this case i don't want to do it if i want to change the, the face color i have different kinds over here some of them are for um the body the body world okay but others are for this one like these ones i these are g3 okay so these are for these avatars over here, okay? And I can change the, the, the eyes, I can change the nose, I can change the mouth, the eyebrows, and give it a different kind of uh, look, you know, on the hair as well. So I, ca I can do that. I just wanna let you know that because I do have these packages and I just don't have them added here in my content manager. They're not here, okay? That's the only difference, but I can just drop them in there and and start making a different kind of avatar, okay? And with this, I finished this other tutorial in regards to the project that has the body of the avatar. And that's everything I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the Imagine Packs.